Okay guys, let's start this. I'm going to first take off the factory bash plate. Um, Looks like a bit of a pain in ass job. So impact drive is ready to make my life easier. So yeah, this is the factory bash plate. Uh, not bad, I used 3 years. Saved uh, my sump and stuff, so, but I didn't do anything crazy stuff. So yep, yeah, it's going to take it off. It looks like a bit hard, so we'll see. I'll let you know how, it's, how bad this one to take it off. And um, yeah, everything ready. Then um, so I have the, all the. Uh, I'll show you now. So this is all the bash plates. So yeah, the bash plate come with four pieces. It's all ready to go. Time to install. Let's do it. Okay, guys. Finally, uh, we remove the factory bash plate. This is how it looks like. It actually, it's better than I thought. With the impact driver, it's pretty easy. And yeah, it's time to install the new one. Let's do it. Hi guys, finally we installed the yeah, we bash split into my Hilux. It's pretty came up really well. It took ages, uh, two and a half hours, and uh, yep, yeah, it's good. And uh, only the issue I had, uh, I had to figure out like because it's not a genuine bull bar. This front two part you can see is look a bit different, but weird. Yeah, but I was uh, struggling. Yeah, how to fix that one? It's actually this is how it's going to come up. So I do the slight change, especially for that ARB sticker. I had to change the location from the top to the bottom. The, you know, then everyone can see the ARB sign. And um, yeah, and I had to change. Um, I had to use a separate nut, the longer nut for uh, put it there because whatever they provided with the ARB bash plate not long enough. And so I install like that. I was actually thought to cut those two, but now. Um, I thought it's not a good idea, so I just keep it as it is, didn't do anything, any changes, alternation, anything. Uh, yeah, it's come up with the three parts. It's the second one, mainly covering your sump, and um, then you have the third one, um, covering the, the gearbox uh, uh, for the and the dry shaft for coming from uh, your transfer case for the front wheel. And then further back, you can see, you know, I'll show you from other side, uh, your cover for the transfer case. It's pretty good one and um, nice thin three mil, uh, sorry, uh, three mil uh, uh, bash plate and uh, it's pretty good design and I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, there's plenty of op uh, the, uh, brand and option in the market at the moment. The main reason I picked this one because come with the four pieces covering the transfer case and uh, most of the other products actually covering only the um, yeah it's come with three pieces pretty much covering the front sump and the uh, gearbox. And some actually don't have the gearbox covering only front um, your uh, uh, transfer case. Sorry, your front uh, sump and um, transfer case. So this is pretty good covering four pieces. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Uh, it took ages, two and a half hours. It's really hard because see the small one. Those where you had to put actually there's some nut inside which is connect uh, each uh, bash plate. Uh, that's pretty hard because if you're using a hoist, I think it might be easy. But when you're doing it in your backyard garage, it's a bit hard. Definitely, you need two people to install that. So you can put all those nuts to connect the bash plate. Then after that, you can mount into the 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 actual chassis. It's pretty good. All the mounting point is exactly the matching with your factory bash plate. So it's pretty much like you know plug and play easily. Remove your factory one. Uh, just put it this one back straight away using the existing um, nut hole and uh, so, uh, okay, I'll show you when it come from other side um, for the, the gearbox one yeah, it's actually come up with some uh, uh, the actual kit come up with the thing so you can um, put the bolt there see that's the gap I was talking about before it's it's uh, the whatever the ARB provide not not long amounts it might be mainly the ARB um, I think the, all the most of the parts actually they provide matching with the RB pull bar but if you're using uh, Toyota genuine uh, pull bar you might be had to do the size different but it's, it's work this is the only thing I had to change nothing else everything else I use what ARB provide uh, only this nut I changed I think I used 2 inch um, uh, M8 nuts and uh, yeah this design is pretty good too I think the I hope that design look like the way it's built like if you hit somewhere it's actually spread the impact um, yeah, so see this is the a small part for the um, your transfer case when compared with the factory one. It's really really good 
and it's covered the white area pretty much cover the whole import uh, the your transfer case if you compare the factory one you can see it's really small the factory one and the really heavy duty thickness 3 mil ba uh, bash plate for the transfer case you know one of the important thing if you're in the off-road and uh, yeah that's for the your gearbox and the fr drive shaft for the the front wheel it's covered from that part and uh, see um, that's the part I was talking about you had to put insert that one that's where your mounting point for the uh, your second plate and um, so you can put it it's pretty it's painting ass that's one actually when you're installing that's hard one of the hardest parts hardest thing to put that nut properly and um, yeah see the nice gap there I think it's pretty easy to clean if there's any mud or anything you can easily use a pressure washer clean that area and uh, yeah it's pretty good design and um, I think it's pretty similar to the Brown Davidson one. One of my mate got Brown Davidson one. Pretty similar setup. And the price is different. Uh, ARB is a bit expensive than when compared to the Brown Davidson. But a uh, pretty similar design. And you can see that hole there. That's actually for your drain the oil uh, for engine. So it's pretty easy. Um, you know, if someone is servicing the vehicle, you don't have to remove the bash bed. It's easy access for the fuel and stuff. I'm still servicing this Toyota, so I didn't get any complaint. So yeah, it's a pretty good one. And hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys like, just subscribe to the channel for me, support me. And I will upload some more videos, stuff, all my tours, trips, what I am doing around in Kakadu and Northern Territory. And um, yeah, if you guys like, you know, comment me if you guys want to see anything. If you guys know anything about Kakadu, anything anywhere around in, in Northern Territory. Just let us know the beautiful country outback australia and yeah thank you very much for watching the channel please don't forget to subscribe